we have 10 people in our group and so we decided because there needed to be 18 steps, we'd each have two steps. So there'd be two extra in case some didn't work. So all of the steps would be in groups of two, so one after the other. And we just asked for whatever part. So I asked to be the first step and then we decided who we'd be working with for each one. And so we thought that'd be better because you'd only have to coordinate your step with two people instead of everyone else. We have a wiki page on our school portal where people put up their ideas. So the first couple of lessons was just planning our steps and then people worked out what they needed and brought it from home or it was supplied here. We told Mr. McLean or Mr. Jones what we needed and then we've built it here, yeah. This is my step, um, it's the first one. So it's set up by the automatic opening of the lid of the CD player which moves the dowel up, which hits the lip on this domino, which causes them to fall and then on this one, oops, um, they'll fall the other way, which will fall down, hit this, and cause that to sink. So I'll just set that up again now. <laughs> Lots of trial and error there was, um, especially with the the um, weight for the ends pushing the play button on the CD player. We had to try lots of different um, things to push it down and how much weight we needed on how that was going to come down. And just today, we were using a mouse trap before that would move the pulley, which would make the weight come down. But we broke both our mouse traps. So now we're figuring out another way, I think cutting twine with a razor or something like that. I think the process has worked really well because we knew what was happening from the start, like I said, with organising the steps. It's good looking at um, other machines and seeing what worked well and what looks easy there. Um, like dominoes, which is the step I use, they're kind of foolproof, they're, they're always going to go and as long as you know where it's going to come off or what it's going to hit, that's good. Don't make it too crazy because that often doesn't work. I think it was really good having the wiki page because you could put up things you were doing and what you wanted to do for the next week. Um, just project management and time management, I think we had some really good teachers who were good at getting us on track and um, knowing what we should do in each session. When you sign up for the project, it's really important that you know it's after school every Thursday and you've got to be in there because if someone isn't there, it's hard to complete the steps. So yeah, just making sure you know what you're signing up for and that you're willing to follow through with it. Oh! What's that shot out? <laughs> 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 <laughs>